In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to construct a contact page from scratch to get more leads and visitors coming to your website and getting in touch with you so that you can get more business today. In this video we're going to take a look at some different ways to create a contact page. I'm going to do this using WordPress and Thrive Architect Page Builder. You don't have to have these tools, these principles apply to any website, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for creating a really cool contact page so that you get more people in touch with you from your website, you get more sales, more leads, more blog post subscribers, whatever it might be. The contact page is one of the most important pages on your website. So let's jump right in. I have a basic page here on my website and the Thrive Architect editor is open. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a couple of columns because I want to add a contact page, a contact form I should say on the left, and then contact details on the right. This is quite a typical way of doing things. The contact form is the way people can get in touch without having to go to their email, and the contact details is everything else that I put on the side normally. So we're going to get a contact form that I already have set up from my main home page and I'm going to add that in using a WordPress element because we're using a short code and if you're not aware of what short codes are they're these square brackets here which a lot of plugins in WordPress generate for you just paste them into a WordPress area and it automatically generates some code in this case it's a contact form so it's a pretty simple contact form name email subject and message or how can we help is the message title that I have here. So that's now on the right hand side. I would potentially style this a little bit better and make these fields line up on the right hand side and a little bit wider but I'm just going to leave that as it is for the moment and actually this needs to be dropped into this column here. So that's the contact form pretty much done. I might put a heading above that just so people uh, know that they can use this to get in touch. So something like uh, fill out the form to get in, in touch. Something simple like that in case people don't realize they can do that. <clears throat> and then on the other side I'm going to put another heading So that people know this is the rest of the details and then we're just going to throw a standard text or paragraph element in here and then you would put in here technically something like your address I don't know what postcodes are in the United States so I'm just winging this a little bit and then I would change the line height on this a little bit. It's a little bit too spread out. So I just put that sentence a little bit closer together. So that's your main address. And then we would also put in here something like email support at madlemmings.com, which by the way doesn't exist only ashley at madlemmings.com if you want to email me and then you could put in here phone and then uh, you want to put in your code or whatever format is that works for you and then what I would do is I would make sure that these are clickable links and if you're doing a phone you actually want to do tell colon and then the phone number and normally the formatting might work, but I would just remove the formatting. And that makes that a click to call phone number so that if someone's on mobile and they tap it, it'll automatically start calling. So you want to try to put that on all phone numbers. And then on email, you want to make this a mail to. So that then when you click on that, it opens up the email client, whether that's on the phone or on the desktop. So that's the sort of thing you should try to do. Stage two of the contact page construction, rather than the phone 
and the email being there with text, I'm actually going to create a button which is clickable with an icon because in this content builder, Thrive Architect, that is the best way of adding an icon. And an icon is a really cool way of visually drawing someone to something that they understand without having to read it. So it looks cool to have instead of phone and email as words, to have them as icons. So I've already deleted the text here and I've also deleted the heading because I'm going to replace that with a banner. That's a setting in my page. I've already gone in and removed it for you. Or for me, actually, not for you. But if you have Thrive, it's a setting on your pages and posts. If not, it's a little bit more complicated. You can hide that using CSS. But in my theme, I can do that. Otherwise, you might need to create a specific landing page to get that done. So what we want is a couple of buttons. So I'm just going to drop a button in here. And I am going to type in my email which, as we all know, doesn't exist, this particular email. And we're going to add in an icon. Now, all the buttons in Thrive Architect are made up of different elements. So you've got the button element with a text element in it. And by clicking this Add Icon button up here, you can also add in an icon element. And then if you click on the icon, you can edit it. And it's the right size pretty much, but I want it to be an envelope. So I just type in ENV, pick my envelope, and there we go. But I'm also going to change the color while I'm in here and make it red, which looks really ugly. Because what I'm actually going to do, and I'm doing that with the font now as well, is I'm actually going to remove the button color. And we're just you can make it white if you want, or you can make it transparent. And the transparency is on the right hand side, or opaque, if you like that sexier word. Because this is a button, but we don't want it to look like a button, so we have to remove all the buttonness from it. So we want it to just look like text and an icon, but it's still clickable. So what we do is we also change the link, and we want mail to, and then your email with a colon, and your email address, and that then turns this into a link which opens email clients, which doesn't always work, but it's the best thing you can do for that. Then we also want to align it on the left, of course, and reduce some of the spacing there to line it up with the text. And let's bring it to the top, removing that and also removing that. So let's click away from that now and see how that looks. Not bad, huh? So that's now an email clickable link with an icon. And then you can duplicate that and do the same thing for the phone. The big question is, do we use the old school phone or the mobile phone? Well, I think the old school phone is easier to recognize, actually. And at least everyone understands that, I think. So let's use that. And then we can add in our phone number, 044. 555-1212. Don't you love how all movies use 555? I guess those numbers don't exist or something. They don't want to actually have anyone calling anyone. And then you want to change the link to TEL colon and then the numbers, but get rid of all the formatting. Formatting sometimes works, but you can't be sure, so get rid of it. And if you want to internationalize your phone numbers, you have to put a plus and then your country code and then drop the first zero. So if you're working with international people, you may want to change that to the international version, which for me is plus four one, but for you guys is plus one for the States and for Canada, I believe. So that's the phone done, but we actually want to remove the spacing a little bit on the phone as well. Uh, we seem to have a bit of a bottom border issue. So let's remove that, which makes our spacing look a bit better. Not perfect, but it's good enough. I actually want to change the line height a little bit on the address, bunch that up a little bit. And for some reason, it didn't do the top one. So that looks a bit better. And actually, I want to put some padding in here. I get a little bit anal with my formatting sometimes. So it's nice and spaced out. You always want space between elements. It gives a bit of a 
ease of reading and clarity as you can see that looks nicer than it did before a little bit of line height lots of padding not super amounts of padding so you could continue that and add in some Skype call facts all of that kind of stuff but I'm not going to do that the last thing I'm going to do is add in a map El Mapo and I don't know where it is so I'm just going to type in map not Mao, he's in China, or he used to be. We're going to type in map. And this stupid save warning stopped me from doing that. And I would put the map at the bottom, potentially full width. I don't know how I'm going to get that full width, actually. I'm not sure if that's an option here. But a couple of things you can do on the Thrive map. Usually in a lot of these builders, Divi and all of that, you get maps. Maps are really cool if you actually have a location, you have an office, you have a store. I work from home, so I don't have a map, but if you want a map, you can either put it under the phone here or along the bottom. And you want to change this zoom a little bit. You want to get people actually to see the context of the location. And you may also want to change uh, the street Fourth Street, I don't know, does that exist? Let's try. Might find something. How's my New York West West 4th Street? So that's good. So now we have a New York location on our map. So that's pretty nice. You may want to put a heading on there. Uh, if you want to drive here, this is how you get here, etc. etc. So that's quite nice. And then the last thing we're going to do to even make it more sexy, yes, it can be more sexy. We're going to make a full width top section with a little bit of height here and a background color of my branded color. This is quite a com common element I put on a lot of my clients' websites. You put a banner across the top instead of just the boring title because a black contact us title is, is really not that amazing. It doesn't look that great. So we're just going to make this look a little bit better and we're going to use our friend the negative margin here to bring that up to the top and you want to check that on mobile and everything of course and then we're going to throw in our friend the H1 every page should have at least one H1 then we're going to center align it make it white you should always have light on dark or dark on light with text so that it's readable put a bit of padding on the top And then we're going to type in, let us, I need to click on the text, let us help you make an awesome website. That's what I do for my customers. And yeah, maybe my minimum height could be a bit smaller. I'm going to get something a bit, bit like that. And we could even put in an icon in there or something, an arrow encouraging people to look down whatever you want to do let's put in a down arrow and make that white I'm not sure if I like that but let's just do it anyway and remove the padding at the top and add some at the bottom so how's that pretty sexy so there are all the kinds of elements that you want to add. You want to add your contact form, your address, your email, your phone number, your Skype, your fax. Maybe you also want to add in a chat, but that's going to be a separate widget, a separate kind of plugin or something that you add to your website. You want your map if you've got people driving there as well. All the different things to help people get in touch with you and know how to do that and get there the shortest way possible. This is an awesome contact page using Thrive Architecture architect if you want to take a look at the plugin you can click the link below and check that out it's one of my favorites i'm building websites super fast with this baby it's great it's a one-off cost you can't complain about that otherwise you could use something like divi or visual composer although they're pretty yeah, average in comparison elemental's not bad although i must say i haven't really got used to it i don't think it's as good and check out some of the other thrive architect uh, tutorials that I've done up 
in the top here or you can also subscribe to the channel and get more of these juicy videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.